What is up guys, so as you know, I am currently trying to culture in fuchsia. And uh, if you can see this little stripe right here, on all this up here, I have been successful. In fact, if I, if I zoom in, the water is alive. I'm going to pull the camera back a little bit. Check that out. This is all of them up here. Look at them all. You can see them. They're moving. They're nice. They're healthy. They're all at the top like crazy here. See, it's this stuff right up here. And all this right here, yeah, look at that, it's all alive. See how it looks like speckles? That's in swimming around. So whenever you're doing an infusia culture, uh, I have two of them here. One has been very successful, and the other one has failed. Uh, which I can actually take, the, I'm actually going to just throw this one away. This one's trash, I'll reuse the container. Uh, but what I'm going to do is, oh, they're, they're coming over towards me now. Look at them all, Sam. Look, holy crap, look at them all. Check that out. Yeah, look at that. Holy shit. There's millions of them. You see them in there swimming? Where's that even looking at, though? So it's in between here. It's picking it's picking things up that I can't even see right here. I can't see those with my naked eye. Did that thing just fucking move? Did that just move? Holy crap, look at this thing is this thing is stocked full. Oh my god, look at them up here. Here they're rolling over the thing now. Holy shit, look at them all. There's millions of them. See them moving? So my culture has bloomed. So pretty much what I have inside of here. Now here's the difference between these cultures. This is pre-started from my fish tank. This is a pre-start from nothing. This was uh, <clears throat> boiled tap water and half and half fish tank. Uh, actually, this was boiled tap water. It was all actually boiled tap water. And... Uh, uh, with this one, I added in uh, greens, I added lettuce, and all kinds of other things into it to make them break down. Because this one, if you should eat, they eat bacteria. Oh my god, you can see I'm making patterns and shit inside here. Look at it all. That's amazing. Uh, I'm actually shocked uh, now I can actually start breeding betas. Oh my god, they're coming down now. You can, I don't know if you can barely see that or not, but look, you can see the patterns that they're making. Hey, look at that cone. Look at that cone they're making. I can see all this. The thing is, they're attracted to the light. Yeah, look at them all. This is all just in fuchsia. Uh, let's actually just gently turn this. And uh, since they're attracted to light, they should be a shit ton over here. Oh my god, yep. Yeah, this whole center section that was by the light is just thousands of them. Um, they're just looking at you and see the naked eye. But uh, with this one, uh, it's just greens and tap water that I boiled, which I was I didn't put half and half in the fish tank aquarium. This right here is full fish tank aquarium. These are some leaves from the yard. I'm not sure what kind they are, to be honest with you. Uh, and there was a couple uh, little bits of greenery in here, some lettuce. I took that out, though. And what I did is I took the filter from my catfish tank. I pulled the filters out and I scraped all the goo off and I collected all the water that came out of the filter. Uh, and that's what this colony started from was the fish tank. So if you guys have a dirty filter, these things are going to be established in your fish tank. It's taken about a week for these to finally show up. Uh, but uh, yeah, I disturbed it pretty, pretty badly. So I'm not going to see them anymore, at least not very easily if I do. Uh, I do actually still see a bunch of them in between the leaves, but I'm actually going to turn this the way it was. That way I can actually keep a good idea out. 
So, what was successful about this is the fact that... You see like gun floating in there now? Uh, is the fact that this one was pre-started from an aquarium, and this one was pre-started from the fucking tap. So, if you're going to do this and you have an aquarium like I do, i got a big old aquarium which you can't really see, but you can hear the water pump. I mean the filter. Oh my god, they're just all over the top here. Uh, but if you're going to want to do this, you're going to want to use and take goo from your filter. Let your filter get a little nasty for a couple days. I even found something like chicken crap inside my filter. It was, it was a big glob of like fungus. Uh, which we clean our filters very regularly. And for some reason that was in there. I'm not sure what it was, but I put it in here and maybe it was just a big old culture of bacteria growth and that's kind of what i'm thinking but uh you can kind of see they're starting to show up here again uh but yeah guys i just want to show you that i have in fuchsia uh now i'd be able to uh breed betas and that's what i'm waiting for is to get a culture something like this started and uh i think what i might do is restart the culture i have distilled tap water in fact i'll take uh from the fish tank and uh, i will take a good amount of this probably about maybe an inch of water uh out of this put it into the next uh culture that i do and uh, take some more gunk from the filter and let it sit for a couple of days to a week and then see what happens. And you don't need real light. You don't need outside light. You can use artificial. This is just a heat lamp that I have them by during the day. Uh, bright lights. And then at night I have them by the heat lamp over here to keep it warm because it's getting pretty cold, cool, in the room, cool in the living room right now. But yeah. So uh, I'll be starting another culture very soon. I'm also culturing flatworms right now. I have given up on fruit fly larval. Uh, mosquito. Uh, fruit, fruit fly larval. Uh, maggots, and uh, I went and bought flightless fruit flies, so I have all the maggots I need and all the flightless fruit flies I need to feed my beta. I'm culturing micro worms. I'm still doing uh, mosquito larvae. I only have a couple left. They're not going to, you know, make it to maturity because I'm not going to let them. And then I'm also culturing nematodes. Now, the nematodes are doing something weird. They're morphing. Um, and they're starting to look like small, small mosquito pupil, pupas. You know how they get the big head and the long body stays on, but they get a big head. This is what they're looking. Like. This is what they're looking like, but they're tiny. Sorry, I haven't slept yet, and I'm I'm rambling here now because I'm excited. Because um, this whole this whole thing is just full of the future. Uh, I was looking to breed Daphnia, but I cannot find them for anything you know cheap. Uh, so those are out of the question. And uh, yeah, so I just want to get off here. I'm doing Brian Shrimp next, so stay tuned for that video, guys. Uh, and in to, and tomorrow I'll be doing a video where I go collect the uh, flatworm trap that I have. Not the flatworm, but the microworm, which I'm using a potato in the backyard because these are something that are native all around the world. Um, except, in fr except in frozen climates. Uh, you won't find them there. Well, I mean, if the temperature gets to 80 to 70, 80 degrees, and yeah, you'll find them, but that's not the point. Uh, anyway, we use a potato. I'll show you how to do that later, and uh, hopefully that works too. So like, comment, subscribe, guys, and... Uh, if you guys want more information on this, let me know, and uh, I'll make a video on how to do this when I make the next culture, so later.